Um, I checked out on that. Uh, the chessboard? It's a chess set. The pieces are very neatly arranged. Well, the chessboard is also important. My dad really liked chess, but he always seemed uh, disappointed because I couldn't play. Uh, you shouldn't be dis- He shouldn't be disappointed at something like that. That's terrible. That's really terrible. Uh, I've heard someone say that uh, if you're uh, if you're really if you're really good at chess, then you're a smart guy. But if you're an expert at chess, then you're uh, then uh, that's one sign that you've actually uh, wasted your time. <laughs> uh, mainly because uh, I think the idea here is uh, that um, that uh, you actually wasted your time on something that is really complex and that can help you uh, uh, solve problems. Now you can actually apply this to your daily life. But to actually know everything that the, that you can do in a in a in a on a chessboard requires a lot of time, and that's a time that you have wasted. You that you've better that you can uh, could have wasted on something that that's much better. Which uh, something that is gotta I gotta be honest with you, viewers, it is very interesting. It's a very interesting take. I wonder if uh, it's gonna be like some sort of a a way to um, you know to it has some sort of a lock mechanism on it or something. I didn't check the computer, so yeah, let me look at the computer. This is the model PC sixty eight G Genesis Genesis. <laughs> you mean Mega Drive? These haven't uh, been manufactured for nearly fifty years. Fifty years? No, I don't think so. You're telling me that they haven't made a computer like that since the 90s? Nah, I think I think that, that a computer looks definitely older than something that was made in the 90s. Are you talking about uh, late 90s? No, 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 no. This that computer definitely looks like it was made in like in the early 80s at the very least. That definitely looks like an IBM computer. My father was always using it. Some junk shop gave it to him. And uh, he fixed it up. Damn, he actually fixed the computer. That's that's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. Hmm. I'm actually enjoying this session, viewers. I might actually um, like try and play for longer. Usually, I play for uh, for 20, 30 minutes, but. Uh, yeah, I usually get bored immediately, but I might actually, like, play for uh, 20 minutes longer as well. Investigate the window. It's a wooden window with an aluminum sash. Aluminum? I don't think that's... I don't think that's good. Because aluminum... Aluminum doesn't keep uh, heat, by the way, viewers. One of the things that, uh, one of the reason why you, they use aluminum, especially in some older computer cases, they built it from aluminum uh, to, you know, to to make it dissipate heat. So it's actually gonna absorb the heat immediately and 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 make it last. So if you're uh, if you're trying to warm up your your uh, like if you if you're if you're gonna say a warm. With something like that, there's gonna there's gonna come a lot uh, like in the in the winter. I mean, if, if you're gonna try and heat up your room, uh, it's gonna be hard for you because uh, cold is gonna. Mm, I mean the uh, the uh, aluminum is gonna take all that heat and it's gonna immediately get dissipated by the cold outside. So. Uh, using aluminum like that, uh, it's not really a good idea. They use it, they used to use it a lot for computer cases, by the way. I mean, they used to be expensive, uh, a little bit. It shouldn't be that expensive, but, uh, 
it's useless actually it's a it's a it's a method that uh, it works but it's not cost effective at the very least so uh, i don't recommend actually if you find uh, an aluminum not to mention that they uh, you can actually break it easily like aluminum is really light yeah it's m like i actually carried a, a huge ass uh, uh, computer chassis uh, that was made from aluminum and let me tell you it is extremely light like holy hell aluminum is extremely light extremely light and that one in particular that was, was expensive i was actually like uh i was interested in actually getting getting it that was way back in the day in 2009 or something when i wanted to build uh, like uh, make a, a big upgrade for my pc yeah in 2009 my pc was like a, a, a venom 2 uh, a Venom 2 XX, uh, a 1090T, uh, uh, that's the CPU, it's an AMD CPU, uh, paired with uh, an ATI, or back in the day it was called ATI, which is AMD by the way, uh, a 5970 GPU. I actually, uh, before I get the, 50, the 5970, I had a three-way crossfire of... Uh, of uh, three uh, 480-50s. Three 480-50s years, yes, you heard that right. <laughs> and it was a waste of money. It was a waste of money. But for I sold them, and with uh, with its price, I got the... Uh, I got that 5970. Which uh, I would definitely say that uh, it was all as well a waste of money, because that, 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 that one was a dual GPU. And you know, dual, dual, dual GPU and Crossfire in, in general, uh, it has it, it has a lot of problems. It has a lot of problems. It has a double locking mechanism. Oh, we're still talking about the computer. <laughs> My dad was always really careful. Oh no, we're talking about the window. What's that double locking mechanism? Investigate the computer. It has a 5-inch disk drive installed. 5-inch, huh? Well then, that disk uh, must be for this machine. Doodly doodly. Let's try to see if we can uh, read it. Should have investigated that later then. Uh, okay, we're not gonna investigate it now. Okay, okay. Cool. Investigate the bottle. Now analyzing. It's a sunscreen. It's the standard type d designed to block ultraviolet rays. Uh, and it's unused. Uh, sorry about, about that, viewers. I had the mic. There's a sticker on the bottle. There's pr there, uh, This is probably from the place where it was bought. From Konami? <laughs> hmm, it says the store with everything. Plateau's Cavern. Plato's Cavern, eh? Now we know uh, the connection. I mean, we already know that. However, how did he figure? Uh, how did he figure on sun? How did he figure on sunscreen? How did he figure on sunscreen? Uh, that's not an. That's not a coherent uh, uh, English uh, sentence. <laughs> <laughs> there must be some meaning here. Is it okay if we take this? Go right ahead. I have so I have sorted the uh, sunscreen. Maybe you can analyze it for fingerprints. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can actually analyze it for fingerprints. I'm gonna have to try and see if uh, if uh, Metal Gear can do that. Investigate the photo. This picture seems to be a few years old. Uh, John looks rather young. Uh, not really. He looks the same. Katrina, do you mind if I borrow this picture for a few days? No, go right ahead. I've saw John's picture. Why would we want that? Again. Investigate the chessboard. The black queen is missing. I see, the queen is missing, eh? The design of this uh, set matches uh, that of the piece we found in John's coat. 
That piece of God definitely goes uh, to this set. I'm gonna try and use the uh, chess piece, by the way. Not now, though. Not now. Uh, is she gonna talk uh, more? Is she gonna give us some more information? If we ask her here? I don't think so. All right. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, analyze anything for now. We might actually have to do that in uh, the headquarters. I think, even though... I think he can actually do that at any time. But if uh, the option is not available for us now, then I guess we can't. we cannot use it ever. I think. Um, let's use the uh, desk. Oh, we can only use the desk? What about the chess piece? I can show him with a photo. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to remind you. <laughs> Sometimes you can be really uh, thoughtless, Gillian. I need you now! W what did Gillian say when uh, before she kicks out? I want you now! I need to have you! I hope my dad's picture helps you in your investigation. Um, hopefully. I don't know how, but hopefully. I don't need any money. I've got my dad's savings. <laughs> uh, I didn't show her any of these, so I might actually show her. That's my dad's hand handwriting. He was always uh, leaving memos all over the place. Yeah, maybe actually showing uh, that to her. Maybe it's actually useful. I wonder if that's my dad's. It is. I think so. It was uh, the key to your father's desk. Oh my, nobody uses keys like that anymore. I mean, how do you know? You're 14. Yeah, the game gonna... Yeah, the game... The English version is gonna... <laughs> gonna convince me that you're uh, 18, but you're not. Even th though you look like... You definitely... Let's just say that 14 years old don't look like uh, you. Or most 14 years old don't look uh, as... Uh, as mature, physically mature at the very least. Uh, women, women, uh, w but the women in general, they don't mature. You know, they still, they still feel like young girls at heart. For better or worse. <laughs> For better or worse. Have a nice day, the misogynist. Wow, this is my dad's. Where did you find it? I had been looking for that uh, chess piece, which was the only one missing from the board. Did he tell you that it was missing, though? Can we uh, talk to her, ask her about the chess piece? Uh, no. Did he, uh, was he? Did he ask you about the missing chess piece? Is that, is that the idea, or? This is definitely my dad's. Uh, I'm gonna show her the disc. A disc? Looks like the ones uh, my dad always used on the uh, PC-68. Nobody uses these kind of discs. Whatever, Kojima, whatever. Uh, I don't want to show you the photo. Oh, we're gonna have multiple photos at uh, one point. I think the game is uh, suggesting that. Show her the sunscreen. Uh, what was my dad doing uh, with this in the middle of the winter? Huh. I mean, countries on the no in the North Pole. Always have the sun really near them at, at all time. And you know what? 
Uh, that doesn't matter, right? That doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> Sunscreen in the winter? Maybe he actually wanted to to go on vacation. Hmm. All right, so I guess uh, that's that. The only thing that we need to do is just, you know, use the disk and see what uh, the contents of the disk. All right, let's turn this PC-68 on and see if we can read the disk. So the house in that search, uh, the house was referring to Gibson's house. I don't think so. And that exclamation point was not an exclamation point at all. What was it? What does it imply? It was a symbol for the 5 inch floppy disk. Uh, okay, whatever you say, Kojima. Look closely. The pattern matches the read write holes on the disk. He even drew a little dot to represent the index hole. In other words, it means to put the disk in the PC-68 at this house. Yeah, I don't believe that. But whatever, Kojima. No doubt Gene was worried that something might happen to him, and he prepared the disk for just such an emergency. Oh shit. The machine is reading the disk. Here it is! Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. Interesting. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, mm. leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. Three, okay. the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen causing throat pain and sneezing. 4. Possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these <laughs> techniques, 1 and 4 should prove particularly useful. In addition, besides working to prevent this skin cancer, Snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin, which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. Oh shit. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. Oh. Uh, we've heard the name, uh, uh Random Hajil for the, uh, for the third time now, huh? It's not Hajili, it's Hajil. So... Regular, uh... Regular and normal, uh... Exposure to ultraviolet rays... Uh, is damaging to the uh, Snatcher's skin? Foul odor? Well, that's gonna be hard to... <laughs> <laughs> to detect. <laughs> so if someone uh, passes a gas, then he might be a snatcher. Well, uh, uh, yeah, they. I think they're talking about the uh, uh, once the uh, the uh, 
uh, what they call what did they call it? Melanoma? I forgot the name of the condition. But yeah, once the, this starts happening, they starting to to smell, which is mm -hmm. unless it's a unique smell, and that's a uh, or something that yeah uh, that uh, Metal Gear can analyze, and uh, that uh, that's actually gonna be helpful. So that's it, eh? He found their weak point. And no doubt John was killed because they learned that he had found their hospital. Where is the hospital, though? Well, that's a dog. What's wrong with Alice? Is there something out there? A snatcher, maybe. What? What would you... Katrina, you stay here. Why would you think that? Whoa, that's a Doberman. Holy... This is the garden. Uh, uh, I wonder if I can uh, uh, pull out my uh, my gun. I don't think so. Let's call him Alice. Good dog. Good girl. Alice, what's the matter? I guess we're gonna have uh, to investigate. I'm gonna leave the shadow. What shadows? I don't see any shadows. I really am not very good with dogs, you know. Dogs hate navigators. <laughs> Please understand. <laughs> the shadows? I read motion. Something is moving. What? Ah, it's just bird? a crow. Stupid bird. <laughs> Okay, that was funny. Alright, viewers, let's go ahead and continue on from where we left off. Uh, investigating the arena. Even though it's crowded, everything seems smooth and orderly during this time of year. Uh, investigating the, the neons. There are neon signs in numerous languages. It looks like a sign factory. Yeah, with all these signs, you can't see the stars. Why does that feel like, uh... Like, actually kind of uh, repeated from, uh... From the, uh, look command. What the hell is a sign factory? <laughs> Advertising, uh, advertisement display. There are many advertisements. Careful observation uh, of them can reveal incre interesting things sometimes. There's an advertisement for that uh, uh, Plato's Cavern that Napoleon was uh, that Napoleon was talking about. There are many advertisements, careful observation. Yeah, it seems like uh, this is something that it's the same commentary if, uh, if I look at them. Show window. Most of uh, most are of the hologram display type. Oh my, a display of uh, lingerie. Yeah. We've been, I've checked that before, right? I've checked that before. Did I check that before or not? Let me double check on uh, the footage, actually. Yeah, I double checked. It's definitely repeated. Like, I've never, in, like, uh, I still haven't, uh, you know, investigated these. I looked at them, yes, but I have never investigated them, so it's weird. Over there, under that large uh, billboard. Alton? 
What are you talking about? Those are tights. Oh. No, he's talking about the lingerie. Uh, lingerie. Yeah, we've... I've seen that. Did I record uh, something in the last recording session and I cancelled it? Maybe. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Otherwise, I would uh, I would definitely... Because I have notes. I would definitely remember that. Or at least know. Investigate the nearby people. There are no suspicious types around. Just several... Uh, just several rather... Uh, overheated couples. Overheated? What does that mean? <laughs> uh, well, I guess... Uh, that's that, really, right? Uh, that... Uh... Is that for this area? I can actually head back to... Both, uh, to the headquarters ask uh, the people there about the places they might actually know something about it uh, I can also go back to Katrina which uh, I'm gonna do that yeah I'm definitely gonna do that uh Junker HQ in the first place before we go to Otter Heaven Torbo yeah I'm gonna use the Torbo here yours Arrived at Junker HQ. How was your day, Gillian? How's your investigation going? Learn anything new? Uh, ask. Uh, we can ask her about both uh, Plato's Cavern and Outer Heaven. I've heard of that. It's uh, that anything saw, right? I've heard of that. It's that anything saw, right? The one base under the uh, elevated bridge? Uh, she knows where it is. I've never been there. I hear it's really dangerous. Really? Why do they sell everything then? I read that magazine, uh, City Life Today, every month, but I've never seen anything about it. Uh, you mean about Outer Heaven? Is it famous or something? I've never heard of it. Uh, you just told me that you've heard of it. What about that City Life shit? Do something? Console? Um, okay. I thought uh, there's something uh, there's something that I actually missed. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh... Ask the chief. Is your investigation going well? He might know. Uh... Investigative... Investigative procedure? Figure out uh, what the search, in, uh, search the house uh, puzzle was supposed to mean. Or perhaps, about this outer heaven. The Gibson is known to have visited uh, there frequently. You should ask around, see if anybody there knows anything. Hmm. We are going there regardless. About Plato's Cavern. Plato's Cavern? Never heard of it? Never heard of it? Question mark? It sounds like you've heard of it. Hmm, that sounds vaguely familiar, but I can't s seem to recall where I've heard it. Come on. This game, uh, nobody, uh, uh, proof, uh, proof, uh, proof, uh, read, uh, proof read this, uh, shit. It's funny thing that I was trying to correct them and I said proofed red. <laughs> Proof red. Proof red. Outer heaven. Outer heaven, hey? Do they have an inner heaven too? But um Shut up, chief. 
You have to figure. Uh, you have to uh, figure there. Uh, you have to figure there are stores like that in this city. It's not a store though. It's a. Uh, it's a joint. It's a joint. Uh, yeah. I thought the that uh, the. Uh, Thought they might have uh, had something uh, interesting. But they don't. They don't. Uh, I really don't... No. If uh, I asked... Uh, Katrina about both... Uh, Our Heaven and... And Plato's Cavern. Maybe I asked her about Plato's Cavern. <laughs> She's not angry. You again, what do you want? Go away. What? You... Is something wrong with the game? You allowed me to, to go in. Maybe I have to go. Alright. Uh, we, we already been here and you allowed us to get in. That was weird. Is it a bug? Uh, we cannot ask her about Outer Heaven. Oh, never mind. We can ask her about Outer Heaven. Have you ever heard of a place called Outer Heaven? It's that place uh, that serves buffalo that I was uh, telling you about the other day. That's the first I've uh, heard of my dad going to a place like that. He must have had some good reason. She doesn't know. I can't believe there are places uh, that would serve uh, something like buffalo. They ought to close down places like that. Yeah, what the, yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember this style. Isn't that the, bl uh, the black market? My dad used to go there a lot. He said he could usually find some rare antique antiques there. I've never been there, but I hear it's really dangerous. It's not only you. Even Mika thinks uh, that. Uh, oh, do you have to leave already? Will you please come back again sometime? I'll be waiting for you. Uh, Let me give you my address and video phone number. And give me a call if anything comes up. Thanks again, Mr. Seed. Take care. Huh. Uh, we gave her our number. Not the other way around. Which is strange. She uh, didn't... Uh, like, uh... She didn't ask about that. Can we actually call her? The love line. Uh... Can I ask Jamie about uh, all of these? 393-444. Oh! Hi, Jamie speaking. Oh, Gillian, how are you? Damn! That she's changed. I'm looking good. Hang up. <laughs> oh. Your feelings, uh, your job, snatcher. Uh, I don't think she's gonna say anything new. I don't know about that. We're not gonna annoy her with that. Cool. Jamie's condition. How are you doing? Staying busy at work really helps me. Uh, the days pass quickly that way. The same old, same old. Uh, destination? Where's she going? 
Jamie, where are you headed? Oh, I just ha have an appointment with someone. Appointment? You mean a date? You going on a date? Already cheating on me? I mean, I've done it first. <laughs> a man? Why do you want to know? Oh, no. Well, you know, I just like to keep tabs on you. You jealous? Aha, that's it. You are jealous, aren't you? Don't pick on me like that. Sorry, and don't worry about anything. What do you mean, don't worry about anything? I'm just going for my regular examination. Son of a bitch. Uh, then, uh... He should be worried. <laughs> he should be worried. What, your memory recovery treatment? That's right. Doctor, you know who? You... You know who? Who are we talking about? So that's it, huh? Uh, well, that old uh, guy definitely doesn't give me anything to worry about. I don't know about that. These days, I find myself attracted to senior citizens. Well... Good thing that I'm actually um, old, <laughs> so I'm gonna. So that means uh, that I that I have a chance with Jamie. Oh really? Well then, I guess I'll have to try again after I've uh, gotten a little older, huh? Damn. <laughs> okay, so that was worth it. Didn't I actually didn't expect her to. Didn't expect the all of that to change. So. Uh, can I show her some of the stuff that I had? Scrap of paper. Search the house? What's that supposed to mean? She doesn't know. Wow, that's a real antique key, isn't it? Well, I can show her some money. Oh, Gillian, I'm not having any money problems now. I've got a good job. Don't worry about me. Now, huh? <laughs> Junker ID. So that's your Junker ID, eh? It's kind of fancy looking. It is? Chess piece. That's a chess piece. Damn, she's a genius. She is a genius. A floppy disk? Jeez, I haven't seen uh, one of those in ages. Well, I guess that's uh, that for... For Jamie. Don't let me keep you. Jamie, it was good talking to you. Take care, bye. Talk to you later, Gillian, bye. Alright, uh... That's, that was cool. Like, the game actually wants me, like... No, wants me. Uh... Uh... Kind of encourages me to, uh... Talk to people from from, uh, from time to time, which is uh, pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. Alright, um... <laughs> Outer Heaven or, uh... Uh, Plato's Cavern. I'm gonna go to Plato's Cavern first. Before uh, I go anywhere else. I didn't go to... Uh, I didn't talk to Harry. Maybe I should go to, uh, to Harry. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Harry. I'm gonna go talk to Harry. I'm gonna go talk to Harry uh, first. Junker uh, HQ. Let me go talk to Harry and see uh, how he's doing. Hey Gillian, how's it going these days? Uh I wanna ask you about a few things here. Ever did I ask her about Katrina? Oh yeah, I did, I did. I did I deleted 
Dudley did, diddly did. Plato's Cavern. Plato's Cavern, eh? I've heard of uh, that somewhere. As a matter of fact, I don't know either. <laughs> he just told me that you've heard of that. What about our heaven? What are you saying, boy? I'm not uh, headed to heaven anytime soon. Uh, you're not gonna head to heaven, you're gonna go to hell! He doesn't know? I can show him, uh, the disc. That's right, he's definitely got, uh, one at home. I've seen it. I think we've shown him these, right? That's a chess piece. Looks like a queen to me. Uh... Thanks for nothing, Harry. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Yeah, let's head to uh, Plato's... Uh, to Plato's cavern. It's a terrible cycle. Oh, new music. Plato's Cavern. Ah, it's that logo. I get it. It's more like a small city than one store. Everything in this area appears to be part of Plato's Cavern. Really? Move, move where? Enter the storm. Let's look around before we do anything. The nearby people. The whole place is crawling with rather questionable types. Gillian, try to avoid making eye contact with anybody around here. This sure does not seem like Japan. <laughs> what? Why? Somebody over there is calling. What the hell? Can't they move? It's live art. It's really popular at the moment. What's live art? Live art? It's a form of performance where the artists uh, recreate famous paintings on the streets using their bodies. Huh? That must be Munch the Scream. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, I really don't get it. Sure. Mark. That's the logo for Plato's Cavern. A black market with billboards. They're pretty daring. Yeah, I'm a little bit weird <laughs> for, uh, for some, what's supposed to be, you know, an underground... Uh, Unknown market. It's one of those unwritten understandings. What do you mean, written understandings? That's the logo for Plato's Cavern. Looking at the area, some people seem to be engaged in barter. There are a lot of dangerous looking customers uh, uh, milling about. This is a black market, in the true sense of the word. Wow. Racist. That's racist. That's racist! Smell! Okay, sure. Mmm, smells good. That scent is coming from uh, the food vendors. Smells good, doesn't it? Uh, are they barbecuing rats? Just like uh, they're doing right now in New York? Sniff, sniff. I'm getting a little hungry. Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Come on, move it! This passerby. Woo! This is a terrible place. Sniff, sniff. I'm feeling hungry. Sniff, sniff. The food stand? Huh. I thought I can look at the food stand. 
Uh, nearby people. Investigate the nearby people. Everybody who could not get a permit is here. Apparently, money is all you need to make a purchase. Uh, okay. What what are the rules of this world? Only thing you need to do is money. Well, unless you're gonna buy an alcohol or something. Or you're gonna make, uh, like, I don't know, you try and own a land and own a car or something. Uh, it will not do any good uh, to investigate. These people have no uh, permits. There is no data on them. They are the city's illegal citizens. No data on them. That's very interesting. So they don't have any IDs? They don't have any records? No uh, fingerprints, uh, data or anything? Mark. Is it my imagination or does that uh, does that look something like the Konami logo? It does. I said that before. They're all probably under the same management. <laughs> Move it! Don't be standing around a place like this. Yeah. Yeah. Investigate the area. It's a collection of black market shops uh, lining, uh, lining the streets. It's like a commune. Commune? The roads are crowded with street vendors and stalls. They're sticking out from the stores. Alright, time to investigate the food stand. There are a lot of food stands. That's it. All right. Pizza, sushi, hamburgers, hot dogs, Neo Kobe pizza. Uh, what's the difference here? Neo Kobe pizza. What's that? It's a new type of pizza where you drop your uh, favorite pizza into a special boiling soup. What? Pizza and soup? You dip? You double dip the pizza? You double dip the chip? And that's Neo Kobe pizza? I wonder if it's any good. What do you mean? Its appearance has almost uh, put uh, other food vendors out of business. Its appearance? Pizza dipped inside a bowl of uh, soup? You double dipped the chip. Oh, here's your... Um... <laughs> Here's your uh, Seinfeld reference, I guess. What is that street vendor selling? Well, uh, you know. Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Come on, move it! Woo! This is a terrible place. Please finish what you came uh, to, to do so we can leave. 